y Héctor Rojual. El proyecto Rorcual es una iniciativa llevada a cabo por la Asociación Edmactú, por Organización Sin Armo de Lucro, para el estudio y divulgación del medio acuático, especialmente de cetáceos. El proyecto consiste mainly de research on the largest whale of the Mediterranean, the fin whale, which passes along the Catalan coast. Every springtime, they occur in the northwest Mediterranean, close to shore, between the cities of Tarragona and Barcelona. According to preliminary results, the presence of this whale is due to a concentration of food, predominantly krill. The presence of these small crustaceans is associated with specific oceanographic conditions in this area, characterized by a continental shelf and several submarine canyons, of which the main one is called the Foch. As such, the area is very important for the migration and possibly the survival of the Mediterranean fin whale. Moreover, the Garaf coast is of great relevance to many other species, such as the bottlenose dolphin, striped dolphin, Risa's dolphin, and fishes like the manta ray or the ocean sunfish. The Maktub catamaran is our main research platform and it is equipped with all the necessary instrumentation. Our daily work includes studying oceanographic parameters that determine the presence of fin whales along the coast. Among other parameters, we are studying salinity, temperature, chlorophyll and nutrients in collaboration with the Institute of Marine Sciences in Barcelona. Another one of our objectives is to study the underwater soundscape and analyze audio recordings via hydrophone buoys. This helps us determine the presence and number of whales that visit the area. This study is carried out in close collaboration with the Laboratory of Applied Bioacoustics of the Technical University of Catalonia. We have established a contact network among our researchers, the professional and recreational fishermen, and local sailors. This network functions as a continuous surveillance team that informs us of fin whale sightings in the area and throughout the Catalan Mediterranean. Through this widespread collaboration, we are expanding our catalog of individual whales, which additionally allows us to understand the relationship with fin whale populations in other oceans and seas. The individual whales are identified from images taken from the boat and with drones. In the near future, these could also be genetically identified, as we are establishing drone-based protocols for collecting blow samples. Moreover, New filming technologies allow us to observe these magnificent animals in a non-invasive way and help us study and understand their social behavior and feeding habits. Here, we were able to record the grand movements a whale performs while engulfing a large amount of water and krill and trapping its food in its baleens while expelling the excess water. Fin whales and other cetaceans are extraordinary animals and can be considered indicators for the health of the maritime environment, including the impact of climate change and noise pollution. The results of the fin whale project in 2016 have confirmed the continued seasonal presence of these whales. 
as shown in the table, we report an increase in the number of animals observed compared to previous two years. Most of the whales that visit these waters are adults. However, occasionally it is possible to observe the presence of calves with their mothers. The calves tend to swim alongside the mother and are never seen separated. As in previous years, the whales are found feeding, mainly at the limits of the continental shelf, between 100 to 150 meters deep. After coming up to breathe, we can see the dilated white zone of the ventral pleats and the half-closed mouth filtering the water. Although the individual animals that feed in the area are usually alone, they sometimes form groups and for short periods of time can be seen swimming together. Preliminary data point out that this behavior of forming groups is occasional and is related to food strategies and social behavior. In general, groups do not stay together for more than a few cycles of immersion and breaths. These formations do not necessarily recur among the same individuals and for this reason are not attributed to family structures. Although clusters of up to seven animals have been seen, three is the most frequent number. The continuous monitoring during the season has also allowed us to observe the high intensity of merchant ship traffic, with origin or destination in the nearby ports of Barcelona and Tarragona and crossing the study area at high speed. The passing of these large ships at high speeds, along with the noise pollution in a shallow water area, makes this type of transport one of the greatest threats to the whales. The encounters between whales and merchant ships are very frequent, but knowledge about the presence of large marine mammals in coastal waters is uncommon. Meanwhile, the whales do not seem to consciously avoid being in the proximity of large ships. That threat was illustrated by the recent death of a juvenile whale that got struck by a ship and was found near Barcelona. Additionally, three more dead whales were found along the Catalan coast, mainly calves, which most likely died as a consequence of the prior deaths of their mothers. It is essential to spread the knowledge of the seasonal presence of whales in these waters in order to preserve the area and to favor the conservation of the fin whale, the whale of the Mediterranean.